We successfully collapsed the Nidus tunnels in the previous episode in a very fun mission. And at the end of that one, General Warfield came to us with a fully assembled Zelnaga artifact that we can hopefully use to reverse the infestation of Kerrigan. That means that right now, the final confrontation with the Queen of Blades can begin. But first, I think we'll have to see what Tigus has to say about this all. Final push. You ready for this? That I am, partner. Hell, we're gonna be the guys that kill the Queen of Blades. Genuine heroes. <laughs> Old man's my Genuine. You your pardon. Get one thing straight, Tigus. If Valerian's right, and this artifact can turn Kerrigan human again, I'm taking her away from this place. You hear what I'm saying? I hear you, Jimmy. And I know you want to believe she can come back. But after all the misery she's caused, well, let's just say some folks don't deserve second chances. I'll be the judge of that. Alrighty, fair enough. We actually also have the artifact fully assembled, lying about. Ooh, we spent a lot of time hunting down all them pieces. Now it's all together. This thing gives me the willies something awful. I know what you mean. When I look at it, it's like I can hear voices in my head. The sooner we're done with this thing, the better. Agreed. Right now, this artifact is the most important weapon in the universe. And we're going to use it. I just wish the damn thing came with an instruction. It's not title. Ikea, dude. I'm sorry. Oh, we know. <laughs> we could be upsetting the entire space-time continuum. Easy, Tychus. This ain't science fiction. <laughs> <laughs> it quite literally is though, Raider. I feel I feel like you're missing the point. Anyways, for some reason I had the idea that the Zelnaga artifact was much bigger back in the laboratory. Is that just me? For some reason it seemed to be much larger now that it's or rather it seems much smaller now that it's assembled, I suppose. But anyways, uh General Warfield, what's going on? All these years, Minsk made you out to be the devil himself. But I've seen you put it on the line for men who'd otherwise be hunting you down. Your Emperor is the one should be brought to justice. All I ever wanted was for folks to live free. Charging into battle with a stranger. Taking enemy fire, holding the line shoulder to shoulder. That's the great equalizer of war. Oh. It's an honor to fight at your side. I sure do appreciate that, General. All right. Good old General Warfield. I'm starting to like this guy more and more. Um, I've got 135,000 credits that I don't really spend on anything. Let's check the news, though. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a sad day for us here at UNN. I regret to inform you that last night, Donny Vermillion had himself Donnie, committed no! to the Dominion Mental Health Center oh, no! here on Core Hall. While the nature of his abrupt mental breakdown remains unknown, we do know that he was clad only in his socks and rumored to be in possession of Emperor Mengsk's manifesto and a pound of peanut butter. We wish you all the best, Donny, and hope for your speedy recovery. In the meantime, I'll be taking over as chief anchor no. here at UNN. For UNN, I'm Kate Lockwell. Kate Lockwell. Woo! Yes! <laughs> no, Kate! <laughs> Alright, so Donnie was uh, dressed in only socks. That's uh, an interesting outfit, to say the least. And obviously he was also carrying, uh, what was it, a pound of peanut butter or something like that? Donnie is not doing particularly well. Good old Donnie. Anyway. Um, I don't think I am gonna be earning any additional credits, so I may as well go ahead and I think spend them on something, right? Kind of tempted to, um, yeah, kind of tempted to go ahead and get the Hellstorm batteries, which I can imagine it's probably going to be useful. By the way, I don't actually know if there's like one or two more missions now coming. Maybe there is even more. I don't actually know. The the characters in the game do sure make it sound like this may very well be the absolute final mission. I. I hope not. I hope not. But let's go ahead and get this one right here. Probably should have gotten that one a long time ago. But anyways, we have the Hellstorm batteries. Missile turrets gain a second attack. Second attacks do, or rather the second attack does area damage. Hellstorm batteries are an additional weapon set that can be fitted into your missile turrets. Each battery fires several small missiles that accompany the standard missile attack and saturate the target area on impact. Hellstorm batteries are a great way to welcome swarms of enemy flyers to your base. Don't disappoint. 
Alrighty. And other than that, I mean, I got 55,000 credits, but really, there's there's nothing else that I need. Right? I think I I think I've gotten pretty much everything that I would need here in order to obtain the victory. Very nice. Um, yeah, as far as the research go, of course we've already completed that. There's the mercenary center that is completely decked out. Um, I think. Well, really, the only thing I can do right now is check out this next mission. I sure hope it's not the final one just yet. I don't know if I'm ready to say goodbye. I hope not. I hope there's at least Seems two. Seems my faith in your abilities has been vindicated, Commander Rayner. Now the final blow must be struck. Use oh, no. the artifact to neutralize the Queen of Blades and bring this bloodshed to an end. I think it's the final one. The mission is called All In. Our objective is to protect the artifact. Brutal has been selected. I think the only last thing to do is click Launch. The Engineer Corps is moving the Zelnaga artifact to the base of the primary hive cluster. We'll entrench the last of our defenses all around it. Unfortunately, it's gonna take some time to charge up the device for a strike against the Queen of Blades. Intel provided by the Mobius Foundation suggests that the Zerg will be attracted by the artifact's pulse emanations. Oh no. Once it's activated, all nearby Zerg will go into a frenzy trying to reach it. There's no way we can beat a sustained Zerg attack with what we got left. The artifact itself may help with that. According to Intel, it can discharge what they're calling an energy nova that should kill any Zerg within its radius. Whoa. It takes time to recharge after each use. Otherwise, this would be easy. You'll have to activate the energy nova manually. Fortunately, it pulses on a subsonic frequency, so we'll be immune to its effects. Recharge or no, I'll take all the help we can get right now, General. Remember. Kerrigan's still out there waiting for us. How could we forget? Oh, man, I did not realize this would You've be the last me one. The Zelnaga artifact. It was good of you to save me the trouble of finding it for myself. Morning. Large Zerg force incoming. We're not ready for this many. We'll have to use the artifact. That's a badass ability, though. An impressive defense. But not nearly impressive enough. My forces are without number, and yours are dwindling by the minute. This can only end one way. I can imagine we're probably gonna have to deal with a lot of air-based Zerk. Well, hey, at the very least, I'm pretty much already saturated. <laughs> With an insane amount of stuff. The Zerg will try to overrun us soon. You should build bunkers and train more units as soon as possible. Okay. If things get out of hand, use the energy nova to clear out your base. All right, all right. Recharge time is pretty fast, so don't hesitate to use it. Let us go ahead and get started by making some supply depots as well. If I can, I would really like to get some upgrades. All right, all right. I did not wake up this morning thinking I was going to be playing the final Wings of Liberty mission. I had no clue. Maybe, actually, I should use some of those depots um, to, to wall off my ramps as well. Maybe that would have been a little bit better. Either way, I am going to have to make sure that I make a lot of anti-air, I'm sure. And I'll probably be making a mix of pretty much everything. Right? So probably marines. Probably some siege tanks. Probably some vikings. Get as much stuff here as we can. So, Energy Nova cooldown is 1 minute and 30 seconds remaining. We are currently 5% or so charged on the artifact. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to defend for a very long time. I think I've played this mission once about, I don't know, like nearly a decade ago at this point. I'm assuming though, considering I did not take care of the flyers, I'm going to have to deal with a lot of stuff. Okay, I don't know if I need, make, uh, I don't know if I need to make any kind of battle cruisers. All right, let's just change our rally points up continuously so I can get some uh, some easier uh, some easier setups like this. Um, I want to make sure that I start up as many upgrades as I can. I want to just go for like a variety of stuff. I think that's smart. Yep, get some more of those. Now that I've got upgraded missile turrets, I'll pick them up as well. All right, we're gonna have to defend against a lot of dudes. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna spread my defenses out between the different areas and just you know re-rally whenever I need to. 
Maybe I can get some more uh, some more bunker set up as well, which I think would be very helpful. All right, I have the energy nova. The artifact's energy nova I don't need to. Is fully nah, we're good. Let's get some science vessels as well if we can. Okay, so far so good. I mean, a lot of you have mentioned that throughout this campaign, I have not even made remotely enough static defense. So I'll be, I'll be, I'll be a good YouTuber, okay? Some of you are gonna be real proud of me. <laughs> I hope so, at least. Let us go ahead and get some more of that static defense. I'm actually quite happy that I just, I didn't realize that this was the final mission, right? But I figured it would be helpful uh, to go ahead and get some, uh, some, uh, some of these missile turret upgrades, but yeah, this will do. That's probably gonna destroy one of my own. Nope. I was gonna say that will probably destroy my own siege tank there, but so far so good. Um, let's get another one over there. Do I have to move out on the map? Is there any reason for me to move out on the map? So far, it doesn't quite seem to be the case. I'm assuming they're gonna drop stuff off as well, right next to the artifact, right? That would make sense. Um. You know what? I'm gonna get some more science vessels. Let's rally some more over on this side. Cool. Whew. I like that little turret thingy a lot. You know what? I'm gonna get some uh, heads up, some idle sir. SCPs. I'm detecting a large group of Zerg flyers heading straight for the artifact. Oh. They're going straight for the artifact. Okay. Well, good that I already set up some missile turrets then. Uh, maybe, maybe some Goliaths? Yeah, sure, go ahead. That's what you consider a large group of flyers? Pathetic attempt by Kerrigan is what I call it. <laughs> oh. Alright, so at the very least we won't have to worry about Nidus Worms, which is pretty good, uh, pretty nice. I, uh, I like that idea. Uh, let's get some more bunker set up. Oh, hey. I would really like to get some, um... Ooh, gotta be careful. I would really like to get some more of these, um... Well, even hive mind emulators could be a lot of fun. I'm not entirely sure how to use them properly, but... That's irrelevant, right? Okay, let's just get ourselves a whole bunch of stuff. I wonder if I could go ahead and just make a ton of vultures and just sort of cheese it. <laughs> right, just make a ton of vultures and what are they gonna do? Not a whole lot. Uh, let's get some more of those. Perdition turrets, always good. Another wave of Zerg flyers, sir. All right. I mean, <clears throat> I can get a whole lot of missile turrets set up. Pretty sure that will uh, that will take care of most of this shenanigans. Uh, another perdition turret over there, and I'll get another one over there too. I'm already starting to get pretty close to maxing out, right? Oh man, I'm actually really happy right now that I got myself those upgrades for the missile turrets. I genuinely did not know. That's so sick. All right, well, hey, good to uh, good to have this many units. Can you guys not go into that bunker? Oh, you can't. I was gonna say, that would be kind of silly. Um... Need to get another one of these hive mount emulators if I can. I do have to manually activate that if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can almost use a couple of them all at once right now, so it's like this. Alert. Class 12 psionic waveform detected. The Queen of Blades is in Oh, can I just use my, uh... I'm tired of working through others. It's time I took a personal hand in your demise. Do you think I can just use my wave thingy? Let's try that. Oh, well, no. Pathetic attempt, Kerrigan! Get your motto gun to the face. Actually, that really wasn't that great of an attempt no, I heard. Regret that. <laughs> We've driven well, hey, back. so far so good. Keep it up. So far so good, I can't complain about this. Oh my god, we got a lot of stuff. 
Lots of Zerg flyers on their way to you, sir. Uh, can I get my, um, my Vikings? I need more Vikings if I can. Just a bunch of Vikings will do really nicely. I'm just gonna fill this area up with missile turrets. Are you kidding me? I'm already maxed out. Can I, uh, I wanna, I wanna take control of this Mutalisk. Yeah! I've got a Muta! I've got a Muta! Now, go kill yourself, I guess. Just, just fly over in that direction. Do a little bit of scouting. Oh no. Oh no. They're gonna be so confused, dude. We're doing some scouting right now with Mutalisk. <laughs> Those Mutas didn't even hesitate for a second. Yeah, I'm actually maxed out. Um... You know what, if we are gonna be maxed out... I think I should just go ahead and spend over, or spend leftover resources... ...on just getting a lot of static defense out. More Zerg flyers inbound. They're coming in behind you, watch out! Oh, snap. I wasn't ready for that. But seriously, you know, I can just simply get ourselves a, a ton of static defense and I think that should do quite well. Alright, well, here come the Vikings. Vikings will take care of that just fine. Alright, just hang out. We've got 40% right now, though. There's still a lot of stuff remaining. And I'm, I'm already maxed. So this is not ideal. I, uh, I think my Viking army actually needs a separate hold key. Because sometimes there's these brutes from a distance that are just simply trying to kill everything. They're a little annoying. Yeah, I probably want to make sure that I get enough anti-air here. Sir, I'm picking up a mass of overlords heading your way. Oh god. Ready your air defenses. Where are they? The artifact's energy nova is fully recharged. Cool. Can go ahead and use that again if I need to. I don't think I want to rush using it, though. Okay, so this is the massive overlords. Oh god, oh god. Acti activate it, there we go. I don't want him to drop off any crazy amounts of Zerg units right there, right? That could have actually been a, a big issue. I should probably go ahead and set up some more static defense over inside of my base. And I should probably also send back some of my SCVs currently. That are just simply hanging about. I really want to make sure that I get a lot more... Um, can I make Jackson's revenge? I kind of want to. Oh. Um. Oh no. I'm sorry. I see, I'm sorry, medic. There we go. Scour you all from my world. Okay, so I've got a hit squad of air units here. Here comes the Queen of Blades once again, though. I'm not sure how this is gonna play out. Can you? uh... Oh no, Jackson's Revenge can't do very much of anything. Oh yeah, she does a lot of damage. Oh, uh, she's really strong. We're still maxed out though. Lots of Zerg flyers on their way to you, sir. Kerrigan's gone underground. Pour it on, troops. Okay. Looks like there are once again some units here in the back, which is a little annoying. Jackson's Revenge is real slow. But, yeah, no, here comes some flyers once again as well. The fact that my units deal splash damage, though, makes them so very, very potent. Okay. Let's try and set up some more units over here. Wish the crew spread wasn't so, um... So messy. Oof, that's actually pretty bad. Okay, so these guys are gonna be taken care of just fine. Trying to fly over some of my uh, some of my Vikings right now over in the other direction. Sir, we're tracking a large number of Zerg flyers coming your way. Okay, you just defend this area, please, because these these guys actually have been doing way too much damage. A lot of Zerg flyers. Woo. I'm gonna make non-stop Vikings here for a bit. Honestly, think that's my best option. Vikings have insane range, and they're actually capable of being reasonably, you know, good at transportation. The artifact's energy nova is fully recharged. All right, Jackson, you can hang out there for a little while. 
This area is not nearly as well defended as it was previously. Okay. Gotta be careful now, Loki. We're only halfway there. Whew. I wonder if maybe taking the the other route in the previous episode would have been better. Uh, maybe I should try and re-hold Kidos as well. Got a lot of anti-air units right now. There's a single Zerg Swarm Overseer there. Why is that in orange? I don't know. We actually uh, do have to make sure we continuously mine though, because I don't have that much money here. It's not like I'm floating thousands of resources and I can just remake whatever it is that I need. It's not quite the case. Trying to, once again, up our uh, defenses over on this side. I mean, we wouldn't get Nidus Worms, but apparently the fact of the matter is that sometimes they will still be sending in these drop pods, which is pretty annoying. Here's Kerrigan once again coming in. Alright, we're maxed out. You fool should never have come here. You sound a little triggered, Kerrigan. What's your plan now? What if you accidentally end up dying? You don't tunnel on the ground fast enough. Oh god, that's bad. My Vikings just almost always get wrecked. She's got like a psionic storm kind of spell. Yeah, she does a lot of damage. She actually has murdered a lot of my units there. Sir, we're tracking a large number of Zerg that was, flyers that was not good. your way. That was really not good. She's retreated again. Hold the line. Uh, that's actually really not good at all. What? Oh snap, I accidentally just pressed a button there on the right hand side of the screen. <gasps> I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, I just wasted a cooldown. Are you kidding me? I did not mean to do that. Oh no, I was just swiping over my monitor or like, you know, going going over my screen and all of a sudden I found myself in a really bad spot. That is unfortunate. Okay. Well, these Corruptors and Mutas aren't really doing a whole lot, though. We gotta be careful for her Storm ability. Her Storm ability is terrifying. And the fact that there's a lot of Brutes on that side are also really annoying. Plus 10, Zerg detected. Holy sh... Sir, scanners show the largest Zerg biosignature I've ever seen. And it's headed your way. I actually probably wanted to get a second Armory here as well, if I can. Maybe it's a little late right now, but... Uh, can I get... Yeah, some Hell's Angels would be good. Alright. This is gonna get messy. Go, 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 go. Just try and take it out before anything terrifying can happen. Alright. I would like to fight right on top of my missile turrets if I can. Oh my god. I don't know what it's doing. Is it stunning them? Biostasis. I think so. Oh my god, that's a cool thing. It's dealing a huge amount of damage. Oh no, it just keeps doing biostasis. I don't know what it does. Probably want to spread out my units a lot more against that thing. I don't have that much stuff, guys. We're actually starting to run real low here on the amount of units that we do have. Lots of Zerg flyers on their way to you, sir. Man, there sure are a lot of Zerg flyers today. Ready to blow. No. Okay, you guys go over in that direction. I don't really know exactly if I need to take it out, though. Okay, here come a lot of Zerg flyers once again. I do have Energy Nova. Maybe I should go ahead and use that here in just a little bit. Then again, yeah, we're gonna use it right now. Hopefully get just a little bit more, uh... Wait, really? Oh, it doesn't kill those in the back? Maybe some Goliaths would be good too. 
Class 12 psionic waveform detected. The Queen of Blades has returned. Okay, here we go, here we go. Fools. You are playing with forces beyond your comprehension. My sights seem to be holding just fine. Everything else is not looking nearly as powerful anymore. Well, I say just fine, but it's mediocre at best. Kerrigan just taking care of a lot of these units over here. That's a super long-lasting storm. I actually think that I'm in a bit of a bad scenario right now. Could try and kill over some landed Vikings, but that's not usually what you want to do either, right? She deals an insane amount of damage. Now all of a sudden my entire right-hand side will fall. And while Kerrigan is once again underground, if I'm not... No, actually she's still there. Ooh, I think we just got overwhelmed. I think we just got overwhelmed. I could try and hold on for a little while longer, but the Terran... Oh my god, all of a sudden there's units everywhere. That big Leviathan thing made it go all wrong. I think we're bad. Another wave of Zerg flyers. I can't stop that one, Orner. Oh no. We've lost. Huh. Alright, so apparently a checkpoint was made reasonably recently. This is where things went terrible for a bit, right? Remember that part? I'm gonna be able to take care of these over here in the back. We're 66% in. I really think I need more air units, or like air-to-air -air units, but we can't forget about the fact that we will need to fight Kerrigan herself. Look at the amount of air units here that they are throwing at me, it's kind of ridiculous. Alright, alright, so far so good. I think I actually didn't make enough... I didn't make enough air units. Or rather, uh, enough SCVs here either though, like I don't have a huge income. Alright, here's that flyer again. We're not gonna, we're not gonna take it on head on. Unless I really have to. I am gonna try and not take it head on. Because I don't think I really, really need to. Because I think I lost a little bit too much to that guy. Okay. Some of you could maybe move over there, that'd be wonderful. I'll try and queue up a bunch more units here as well. Additional supply depots, really? You know what, I think I'm gonna salvage some of those. Just get some more money out. Okay. Gotta be careful here though. They've got an awful lot of units. I really don't know if I even really need to engage that thing. I don't know what it's doing. Is it giving a buff to nearby units, you think? We don't really need to fight it head on if we don't, you know, feel too threatened by it, right? It's just hanging out over there. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, it is going to start poking away, though. And then back off. Flyers on their way to you, sir. I really would like to have some new missile turrets over there. It's mostly these brute lords from a distance. I really wonder if I maybe should have gone for. Uh, if I really should have gone maybe for the other objective, right? For the uh, for the other mission previously. Okay, I'll send a couple of Vikings over in that direction. There's a few over here as well. Ooh. Sir, we should activate the artifacts Nova. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, I agree. Sadly, Mr. Leviathan over there didn't really mind. You fools. You are playing with forces beyond your comprehension. Careful now, gentlemen. Stand your ground. Gotta be careful. Man, she deals a stupid amount of damage. Thanks. 
Her damage output is insane. She just absolutely murdered this area. She doesn't have enough for that storm thing anymore, though, which is good, I guess. Okay, she will go down here eventually, but... She's on the run, man. Let's keep I lost everything on the other sides, though. Yeah, that's not good. I don't think I made enough SCVs. I honestly think... I should have made up to, like, 50 SCVs on that single base that I've got. Because I just don't have enough income to properly support all of this. Maybe I should use Irradiate as well a lot more. 85%. I don't think I can... Uh, I don't think I've got enough. Uh, yeah, I think I should have had a lot more minerals here. Ah, they're once again taking it out. Hmm... 86.9%. That's not good. 87. 87 even. Hmm. Alright, so I went back to a checkpoint that's a little bit further back. So we are only at 50% here, which isn't a ton. But this is right before everything else went terrible. Really need to make sure that I get a lot more... Um, a lot more SCVs. Just build up that bank right now. Because we are going to lose units to that big area of effect wave of Kerrigan. And I don't think it's a big issue. I could also go ahead and use the Irradiate a lot more. There we go. Does that actually do enough damage? I'm not sure. Anyway, I think if we have enough SCVs, we can just go ahead and rebuild it. Lots of Zerg flyers on their way to you, sir. Okay. Also, my siege tanks here are killing a lot of my own units because of the way that the um, the brute lords throw their little brute links forward, which is rather annoying to deal with. Get more SCVs going. The artifact's energy nova is fully recharged. Okay, so here comes another wave, another wave of units. I wonder if I should maybe also get some some defenses set up here in the middle of my base. Actually, I think the perdition turrets are quite a bit better than the bunkers. But I can I can just put them in, in random locations, right? Yeah, I don't think we don't want to make that many bunkers, to be honest. So it's some flyer upgrades. I'm actually going to sell some of these bunkers. They're pretty much free. Actually, I think they're completely free, other than some mining time or some building time. You're being overrun. Use the artifact. No, 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 we're not. we're not. We're not, we're not, we're not. Okay, very good. I would like to save it here for as long as I possibly can, just because we're likely gonna need it, <laughs> you know, at a later point once again. I'm actually gonna sell some of these bunkers. I don't need bunkers in the middle of the map. I found the bunkers to be pretty terrible. Other than, obviously, housing marines. They don't really deal a lot of damage. Okay, okay. This is where we start saving for a bit, I think. So I don't want to spend any minerals here for a second. Alright, alright, let's save. Let's save right here. The Queen of Blades has returned. So here comes the Queen of Blades. These fools should never have come here. She's gonna use that storm ability of hers, uh, of hers once again, which is really annoying. I wonder if I could trigger it early if I go out on the map. Do you think she's gonna she's gonna cast it? Yeah, look, there we go. I didn't realize that it would actually get casted already. Okay, you cannot cast it on the middle of my army, please. That would be wonderful. Okay. Okay, that was good. That was good, actually. I lost a lot, Lots but of not enough. Flyers on their way to you, sir. She's retreated again. Hold the line! You only just now realized that, Rainer? It's been a little bit already, buddy. Very good. Let's get some more, um, some more units here. It's a big amount of Zerg flyers coming my way, apparently. 66% right now. That's manageable. Got one Roach, boys! Yeah! 
Yeah, these are some of the most useless buildings I have. I wonder if I should maybe clear out a little bit further for my base. Warning. There it is. Last 10 Zerg flyer detected. Holy sh... Sir, scanners show the largest Zerg biosignature I've ever seen. And it's headed your way. Yeah, of course it's headed my way, buddy. What did you expect? <laughs> and it's staying where it's not doing anything. This is the swarm we're talking about, dude. Who invited Horner on this mission? Seriously. I've got a lot of gas. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Let's save, right? I'm feeling like I'm in a good spot right now. I don't have a big bank because I didn't make SCVs earlier. Right? But, you know, there's not much I can do other than just completely restart the mission at this point if I want to try to fix that. So, you know, we just have to either accept it and complete it this way. Or we're gonna have to restart it all the way, I think. I wanna have a couple of air units on each side. Can I maybe grab some of these Ultras? Yep. Very good. Got some Ultras of my own now. Always one of those. Okay. Zerg flyers on their way to you, sir. Okay. Kind of tempted to uh, to go ahead and um, let, let's save right here. I'm kind of tempted to go ahead and use the energy nova right now. I hope I can charge it up once more. Yeah, these are just barely not caught in that radius for some reason. I really don't know why. Ultras can stay right there. Wonder if I should leave units in the back. They don't realize they would be pushing through that area so very often. Okay. You fools. You are playing with forces beyond your comprehension. Very good. Okay, so here comes Kerrigan once again. Here are the Ultras! <laughs> Dealing so much damage to her. Somehow that seems hilarious to me. We may have to start defending a little bit closer to our own base. Because I think we're going to get overwhelmed here in a little bit. Then again, I, I lose if I lose this artifact, right? So I can't put him too far back either. Yeah, no, never mind. I should not do that. I should not fall back. It doesn't make any sense. Sir, we're tracking a large number of Zerg flyers coming your way. Alright, just got to max out again, Loco. Thirty seconds until the next wave. Okay. I left way too many over there. There's a lot of flyers now coming in once again. Lots of Zerg flyers on their way to you, sir. The artifact's energy nova is fully recharged. Okay, go ahead. You're being overrun. Use the artifact. I did, go I did, Nova. I did. Go Nova? Wait, you're Team Nova? What do you mean, go Nova? 
Much better than the previous attempts, but still not perfect. No. We need to hold on for a little while longer. Okay. Oh man, I didn't actually realize that once again more came from the back. The artifact's energy is peaking. Just hold out a little longer. Okay. Another wave of Zerg flyer, sir. 92%. Can I save here real quick? Because I feel like I'm going to mess this up. I actually just lost my, uh, my starport. That means no more new air units, at least. 93%. Actually, these couple of Ultras that I have are doing a great job. But there are still so many units. 94.5%. We're pretty close. Yeah, we're gonna lose everything here. 95. I don't know if I've got enough, to be honest. Oh no. This has gone on long enough. 97%! Yeah, my, my base is completely gone. Here comes the Queen of Blades though, and this is what I was mostly worried for, right? We get 91%. Or 98.1%, 90, uh, but... She deals a stupid amount of damage. These air units that the Zerk is throwing at us, they're really strong. 98.5 though, I think I could, I, I could probably do this. I think I could. All right, all right, here we go. Time to get more static defense going. There's more and more missile turrets. We just have to make sure that we don't get overwhelmed again. We just have to put some units pretty much everywhere. Sir, we're tracking a large number of Zerg flyers coming your way. Okay. Here come the flyers once again. I need to make sure that I save this Nova for as long as humanly possible. Maybe a couple of Perdition turrets in front would do quite well. Lots of Zerg flyers on their way to you, sir. Okay. The artifact's energy nova is fully recharged. We need to wait. Everywhere. Sir, we should activate the artifact's nova. I don't think we can, buddy. I'm not sure. But I don't think we can. This is the moment where everything goes terrible. <laughs> this is the moment where uh, everything uh, just simply starts falling down. I think a couple of Perdition turrets in front would have done really quite well earlier on. The artifact's energy is peaking. Just hold down a little longer. I know, I'm trying. I wanna, I wanna wait here until Kerrigan spawns again at like 80%. Another wave of Zerg flyer, sir. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna have to activate the Energy Nova right now, but... For some reason, some of these Ultras are not caught in that radius, which kinda sucks. Anyway, I'm looking at this and I don't think that I have enough right now. Alright? I don't see how I could possibly do that. The Brute Lords that are hanging out on every site are a little bit, a little bit crazy. They do so much damage. Oh man. Uh, this is, I guess, where Perdition turrets are very helpful, but I don't have that many of them. Oh my god, here she comes again. This is a tricky one! I like it! I like the difficulty leveling a level a lot.
Oh no. Oh no! It's a 200 HP! There comes Kerrigan! The artifact has been destroyed. Alrighty, so I've decided to just simply restart the mission, because I think I I think I can do a lot better. I want to get first off another command center. The Zerg will try to overrun us soon. There we go. You should build bunkers and train more units as soon as possible. And also, I noticed Things that my units were hand. far too split Use the up. the energy over to clear out your base. The recharge time is pretty fast, so don't hesitate to use it. I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to do that. I want to get these upgrades going as well, so air attacks as well as ground infantry attacks. But I think I want to make sure that I get myself a lot more economy, and that I wall off like an area over here or so. I think that would be significantly better than trying to hold on to these other chokes. I think if I put my siege tanks here on the low ground, they're probably gonna shoot on the high ground as well, as long as I have fission there. So I think this already would make a pretty big difference. Also, I noticed that while she does get that splash damage attack later on, I actually think I want to get some bunkers up here first. While she does get some splash damage skills later on, early on it seems like she just simply one-shots a lot of units. So I think having a couple of bunkers set up over here and maybe some perdition turrets and all that would really make it a lot better already. I'm gonna rally my siege tanks over in that direction. I'm gonna start making Vikings over in that direction. But I think I wanna focus on quite a lot of Marines here in the earlier stage of the game. Just because Marines are gonna be super helpful. I also think I could go ahead and like set up some perdition turrets over here. There we go. And let's simply deal with it that way. Okay, let's go ahead and put up some uh, over here. Um, and we'll really like try to focus siege tanks here on the low ground. I think it makes a lot of sense. Because that's going to hit pretty much every single side, right? Which I think would make it significantly easier when it comes to defending this choke. Alright, got a couple of orbitals. I think I want to do the same thing. Uh, I think I want to do the same thing over here. Maybe this is actually not in the ideal position. Uh, let's just... Yeah, let's just salvage this one once again. There's no reason not to. I think I want to set up some uh, over here. Just like that. Here come the Perdition turrets once again. Well, they're going to be pretty good. Eh, not ideal, but I think we're okay. Going to set up some more over here. And then also, of course, a whole round of missile turrets right behind it. But still, I'm focusing on a lot of SCVs here. Focusing on a lot of SCVs. And also some Mariners, because Mariners should be pretty good. <laughs> Alright, let's have you guys go back onto the high ground. I don't really need to get a ton of static defense in the center just yet, because it's not really going to attack there until a little while later. But I think this right here is already going to make a pretty nice little setup, right? Yeah, these Perdition turrets are insanely good. Can I just go ahead and set some up here at the bottom of this ramp? If I can do that, I think we're in a really nice spot already. Because my units can just walk over it, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, this is good. Look at that. I don't think splitting up your units makes a lot of sense. If my siege tanks right here can hit either side, then what's the point in me trying to just simply risk it, right? I really don't need to. If I, uh, if I put them all together, it's going to make it much easier. And if I can use my marines and marauders and med uh, medics and whatnot, right? To nuke down the Queen of Blades. We're in a pretty good spot, I think. I hope. <laughs> Heads up, sir. I'm detecting a large group of Zerg flyers heading straight for the artifact. Okay. So there are going to be some here that heading uh, that are heading straight for the artifact. It's fair enough. Got a lot more economy this time around. Um, I think I'm actually not gonna use those as a wall. Okay. So now we roughly know what we are in for, right? And what we are going up against. Very nice. Yeah, let's have you set up over there. And we'll continue making some more over here with whatever minerals I got. Because I know I'm going to max out. I know I'm going to be capable of getting a lot of resources. It's just a matter of spending them on the correct units as well, right? And making sure that we get static defense in smart locations. Um... I do want to definitely get some more siege tanks though, because they're not hitting everything on this site. Not as nicely as I was hoping for, anyway. Um... Yep. 
Okay, let's have some more bunkers set up. Sort of like, I don't know, surrounding this thing. I hope that's smart. Maybe it's not. Alright, we have enough SCVs at this point. I think this is also the moment where we start getting, first off, like a layer of perdition turrets. And then a transition towards Another a lot wave of, of Zerg flyer, sir. A lot of missile turrets. Yes, Commander. Ready to blunder. Ready to blunder. I think that makes sense. So we can soak up some of those brute links, uh, or these brute lords a lot easier. I could even go for like a lot of hive mind emulators as well, I think, and just simply mind control a lot of their brutes. That'd be super helpful. Okay, let's fill up these bunkers. Focusing on attack upgrades first, because, well, I think it makes sense. Look at that, though! That works like a charm! Yeah! Yeah, this side is not as clean as the other one, to be honest, but whatever. Look at that, though, right? That seems to work really well. I could probably go ahead and put some idle SCVs, you know, just around the map. Just to make sure that everything is going to continuously be repaired. Alert. Class 12 psionic waveform detected. Alright. The Queen of Blades is inbound. I'm tired of working through others. It's time I took a personal hand in your demise. I uh, kind of hope that would have a lot, or uh, a little bit more of, uh, of a ground army here. I guess I could put some out of the bunkers here if I really want to, but... Right now, she doesn't do any splash damage. She doesn't get that until later. Right? I think? I hope? Yep. That's ah, fine. First attack wave, not an issue. She gains more spells later on. Lots of Zerg flyers on their way to you, sir. You'll regret that. We've driven her back. Keep it up. Okay. Also think I do need to get rid of that Leviathan, by the way. The Leviathan was doing way too much. Actually, I don't think I need that bunker over there. Very nice. Yeah, the siege tanks are now covering both sides at once. That's so much nicer. I'm actually going to get a second armory here. I haven't even used my, uh, my energy nova yet. Maybe I should have, to be honest, but... We haven't really lost anything critical, right? So it's all good. Um, I'll get some marauders and whatnot as well if I can. Okay. Let's get some setup over there. And we want to make sure that we get like this this group of Vikings hold. More Zerg flyers inbound. They're coming in behind you. Watch out. All right. Ready for war. These are going to be taken care of just fine. I think we're taking a much smarter approach to this mission this time around. Yeah, so that's what one that's that one taken care of easy. You're being overrun. No, I'm Use not. The artifact. No, I'm Go not. Dude. How am I being overrun, buddy? Look at that. Okay, maybe that's not ideal. You know what? Let's use it once. I'd rather just buy myself a little bit more time here than, you know, lose unnecessary amounts of units. Um. I really need some more Vikings just simply roaming. Okay, we're maxed out right now. Sir, I'm picking up a mass of overlords heading your way. Ready your air defenses. Okay, so this is where we start saving up a lot of resources. I wonder if I actually maybe built too many siege tanks here. Kind of feel like I did. Um, I mean, this is fine, right? This is totally fine. Well, I do want to take care of some of these overlords, I think. Because they're being a little annoying. Is 
Class 12 psionic monitor detected. The Queen of Blades has returned. I'll scour you all from my world. Um. We just can just uh, we can just go ahead and set up some more over here. I'm actually quite happy now. I got the missile turret upgrades though. That could have actually been a disaster if I didn't. Yeah, she still doesn't have that new attack. Lots of Zerg flyers on their way to you, sir. I'm not all too happy about that engagement, Kerrigan's to be honest. Kerrigan's going underground. Pour it on, troops. But, this is fine. I do think I want to get some more bio on uh, some more bio units, to be honest. Although, I really haven't focused too much on them in general. They seem really strong when it comes to these kind of engagements. Okay. The artifact's energy nova is fully recharged. Everywhere. Sir, we should activate the artifacts Nova. I don't think we should. Okay. I've already got a nice little bank here, which I think is good. Lots of Zerg flyers on their way to you, sir. Well, let's have you guys just simply hanging out over here. These in the back are also helping out a lot. And while there are indeed a bunch of units once again coming in, I feel like we have a lot of room right now to, for example, put up a bunch of these turrets. No particular reason not to, at least. At least as long as there's room for it, I would like to do this. Making some new SCVs once again as well. Okay, very good. It's trying to leave some units behind as well in every corner, right? Okay, good. Um, very good. Alright, let's have you patrol over here. I guess you guys can sort of like patrol over here. And you guys can patrol over there. Now, apparently there are indeed some here in the center that do need taken care of as well. So I, I gotta be careful with the way that I split up my units. I think I'm done making siege tanks though. I think I've got more than enough of those. Alright, good, right? Let's save. Let's save. This seems to be pretty much a perfect setup. I could add on a lot more static defense here if I really want to. I'm a little hesitant to do that though. Alright. Just want to make sure that everything is healed up, right? Class 12 psionic waveform detected. Alright. The Queen of Blades. We're gonna try and snipe the Queen of Blades. You fool should never have I don't know if she's got splash already. She may. Yeah, she does. That's alright, if she's using it on me. On these marines, I can replace those easy peasy. Well, wasn't perfect though. Sir, we're tracking a large number of Zerg flyers coming your way. Cool. That's fine. She's retreated again. Hold the line. Hold the door. Hold the. What? Too soon, Rainer. You can't just say those things to me. Okay, let's get some more. You're being overrun. No, I'm Use not. The artifact. Okay, fine. Go Nova. All right, fine, buddy. It's funny how I keep trying to use the uh, the Brute War hold key for patrol. I changed my hold key in StarCraft II about a gazillion years ago. For some reason, I. Uh, I still sometimes use the other old key. <laughs> old habits die hard, I guess. It's one of those things you don't use as often as some others. Warning. 
Plus 10 Zerg Flyer detected. Holy sh... Okay. Sir, scanners show the largest Zerg biosignature I've ever seen. And it's headed your way. Alright, alright. Here's what I want to do. I want to try and snipe that Leviathan. It's going to be a little expensive, though. And I don't really know if it's going to be worth it. I'm going to pull all of my flyers and just attack move on it. This may be a really bad idea. Because he deals a whole lot of damage. But I think killing it is really important, though. Gonna have to replace all those units that we're about to lose. He's definitely gonna cast that spell again. That's a lot of units, though. I really don't know how to properly deal with that thing. I really would like to get rid of it if I can. Mm. I really can't easily kill it though, because there's so many like supportive units with it as well. I really don't know if I need to kill it, but flyers on their way to you, sir. Let's get into the fight. Um This is where things become pretty messy. I don't think that was actually good. I, uh, I actually think I made a mistake there. Yeah, these air units are starting to become a bit of a nuisance. I want to try and see if we can kill it anyway. You fools. You are playing with forces beyond your comprehension. Trying to kill it. Ah, uh, this is starting to become a mess again. It's still alive? Wait! Ah, snap! Alright, well, she will be taken care of here. She's on the run, man. Let's keep the pressure on. Ah, uh, man, I could have actually sniped it there, I'm pretty sure. But I wasn't paying attention to it because I was distracted by Kerrigan. I honestly think I've got too many siege tanks at this point. I made a lot. I need more Vikings. Yeah, I just got... I, I... No, we need to go back. We need to go back. We need to go back. Alright, so this is right before the Leviathan hits. This is kind of important to keep in mind. I've got a lot of Vikings here, but for some reason it's still not quite enough. Yeah, this is all fine. It's got that really scary spell that I don't like. There we go, it only hit a single target there. Okay, let's try and see if it can do some damage to it. Kerrigan coming again, though. Lots of Zerg flyers on their way to you, sir. All right, I really kind of struggle against this uh, against this Leviathan. We dealt about half damage to it, but I had to retreat once again. Okay, here comes Kerrigan once again. In just a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. Is 
Okay. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Class 12 psionic waveform detected. The Queen of Blades has returned. Okay, Leviathan is gone. Fools. Leviathan is gone. Playing with forces beyond your comprehension. Okay, that character comes again. Okay, now the siege tanks come in range. Uh, let's get some more upgrades here while we're at it. She's on the run, man. Let's keep the pressure on. Okay, good, 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 good. I'm gonna add on some Thors, I think. I think that makes the most sense. Thors are very, very powerful. They just take up a lot of space. That's the only thing that I'm a little hesitant about. All right. Want to make sure that I spread out my uh, my Vikings once again, so they're going to be able to uh, to take control of an area and take care of uh, mostly brute lords and whatnot that will spawn. We know for a fact that more brute lords uh, or brute lords will spawn. Another wave of Zerg flyers, sir. Gonna get some of those. Those are really nice. Let's get Jackson's revenge as well. Okay. You guys just stay right there. It's all good. Do I really not have any in the back? I thought I did. Lots of Zerg flyers on their way to you, sir. Okay, I lost a couple of SCVs there, but I feel like this is okay. There we are. Got another energy nova just about to come in. Cool. Don't even need this many, though. Guess we can use them right now to clean up this attack wave real quick. Okay, queued up a lot of units. Which I feel like is okay. The artifact's energy is peaking. Just hold out a little longer. Lots of Zerg flyers on their way to you, sir. These, um, these Brute Lords are a real pain in the butt. Okay, units in the back are immediately dealt with right now. SCVs are running very low here on resources to mine, so this is about all we're gonna get. Ninety-four, or 94.5%, I almost forgot how to use the word four right there. Very good. Okay, here comes Carrie again. again. This has gone on long enough. Time to die. Let's save right here. This is a tricky one, because I know she's gonna deal a stupid amount of damage. But while I'm zi like I'm I'm literally at zero money right now. <laughs> well, I slowly get a little bit every once in a while. I can go ahead and use the energy nova once more. Which means that the only thing left over to care about is going to be mostly the Queen of Blades. I don't really want to waste my uh, my attacks here. Oh god, really? That's the only thing I wanted. I did not want to happen there. But she's gone. She's gonna be taken care of. Ninety-nine point seven percent. You will pay for this treachery. I think we've done it. Woo! Losing it. Whew, what a tricky mission. I love it. It's now or never, General. Hit it.
was fun. That was really fun. And there we have it. The all-in mission completed. This is such a sick cutscene, seriously. The last bullet Jim, in the okay. chamber. I got gotcha. you. He saved that one for Arcturus Mengsk. Oh man. I've got goosebumps on my legs and I didn't even know I could get goosebumps there. There we see Jim Rayner carrying out Kerrigan, butt naked, but with dreadlocks that make everyone jealous. Oh, man. What an awesome campaign! What an awesome campaign! It's so much fun. Alrighty. Now, I'm sure that some of you may be curious, Loco, what's next? A lot of you have asked, hey Loco, do you plan on also maybe playing, you know, maybe Heart of the Swarm, maybe even Legacy of the Void? What exactly is the plan after you completed Wings of Liberty? Because a lot of you found out that there are indeed already some Heart of the Swarm episodes up on this very YouTube channel that I made when I think HOTS first came out, years and years and years ago. Well, I finally made my decision. In the next episode, we're gonna get started with Heart of the Swarm. But I hope you enjoyed watching this video here today. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more, you guessed it, if you want to see my very first Heart of the Swarm episode, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you get a notification as soon as those videos go live. Other than that, I want to thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile all right now. A special shout out to the Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for also helping me out directly. But I will see you all hopefully in the next episode.